Hi, boys and girls. It's uh, lesson 2-2, two -two, uh, the area of formula for rectangles. And some of you may be very familiar with this um, concept and the skills that we're going to be working on, um, but it's definitely going to uh, be important as we move into multiplication and also just thinking about uh, factors as well. So let's take a look at our math message. Our math message says... Uh, well, Complete Math Masters, page 54. Um, and this is one of those lessons that's going to be really kind of tough to translate into um, remote, uh, or this not necessarily the lesson, but this math message. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of it for you, um, but I want you to practice what it asks you to do. So let's take a look at it. Um, it says to find the perimeter, and it says you may use a centimeter cube or a ruler. So you're actually supposed to measure this sheet. Now, I'm going to attach this to the lesson. And if you want to print it out and practice that, that's a great idea. But I also want you just to practice using your ruler. And I want you to use both the inches side as well as the centimeter side of your ruler. And I want you to practice, practice, practice being comfortable measuring. And the important piece is measuring starting at that zero, not at the very edge of a ruler, but at the zero mark. Okay, so we see that there. Now, every ruler is a little bit different, but most of them now have a zero mark where you should be starting. So, I'm gonna measure right on the screen. And we have, a, oops, hold on. We have a five cent. Okay, let's try that again. Five centimeters for the width and six centimeters for the length. All right, so with that knowledge, you should be able to figure out the perimeter. Oh boy, try that again. You should also be able to figure out an equation for that, right? And then, I'd like you to also take a look at thinking about the area. Now, we talked about area a little bit with our previous lesson on perimeter. And the area is the measurement of this internal space right in here. Okay. So if I was going to use... Um, centimeter cubes, I could kind of lay them all out inside. If I was using a ruler, I could measure the outsides, but then think about how many squares that takes up. Now, another thing I'm going to attach to this activity is some grid paper. So maybe draw it out for yourself on some grid paper, and that will really help for you to get a sense of how much space this shape takes up, okay? And that right there is going to be something that you should be doing to practice. Okay, so um, work on figuring out the perimeter and the area of this rectangle. Okay, so let me see how well I can actually draw using my line tool. It is, oops, I got to turn it on. I'm going to use blue this time. And I'm going to measure out, let's see, one, two, three, four, five by, oh boy, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm really not happy with that line. So I'm going to take that away. I'm going to be using my line tool instead. Um, because I want to have straight lines for a shape like this, right? We have very important 
I want to keep the color the same too, so I realize I need to do that one over again. I'm going to choose the blue. There we go. And I'm going to make it a little thicker too. I'm going to go two. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And I did not close that part off very well, but I'll do it at the end. And there we go. Now, I could have used the rectangle tool, and that would have been another easy way to create my shape, right? That probably actually would have been the much easier way to create my shape. Wow. Anyway, multiple ways to do it. So five by six, I'm going to find my tool and I'm going to select my drawing tool again. This time I'll choose red just so it's in contrast with the blue. So a five by six rectangle, right? So the area, I'm sorry, let's do perimeter first. Perimeter is going to be five plus five plus six plus six right and we could have done it in a different way we could have said uh two times five plus six as well right or we could have said two times five and plus two times six all of those are combinations that will equal the same thing. They're kind of little cousins of the same formula. So we have five and five, six and six. All right. And that adds up to, or is calculated out to, 22 centimeters. Okay, so if I'm going to go back to my math message, I can say that I have a perimeter of 22 centimeters. But now we need to find the square centimeters. And that's exactly what they are. They're squares. That's what we're measuring in. That's the unit. So we want to imagine like if we're going to be able to lay out like how many squares in this rectangle would fit. Um, and in this case, it is... A nice even number. There aren't like parts of a whole, so there aren't any little kind of half rectangles or quarter rectangles to deal with. So it's not so bad. All right, so we can just count them, right? We could do, all right, go one, two, three, four, five, one row of five, one, two, three, four, five, two rows of five, so five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There you go. 30 square centimeters. And that's one way to write it. You could also write out the word square centimeters. Um, but this is something that shows that it's multiplied in two directions. All right. So that is one way to write our final answer. But if you just write square and centimeters, or if you write uh, even an abbreviation for square, like SQ centimeters, that works too. So you can also say 30 square centimeters. Okay, and in here, they actually wrote the whole word. So we could say 30. Okay, now I skip counted, I skip counted rows. Is there a better way or a faster way for me to figure out uh, the area of this rectangle? Is there a more efficient way? Uh, Going to get something accurate and quick. That's our goal anytime we're doing uh, math. We want to be accurate and we also want to be fairly quick and efficient, uh, at least when we're working on you know, something that is consistent, routine, that we're doing again and again, like a multiplication problem or a division problem or addition and subtraction. Um, area problems, same idea. 
uh, when we're working on problem solving and and trying to be creative and figuring out a puzzle, um, you know, efficiency doesn't necessarily need to be the first thing we think about. We want to think about trying to be creative and getting our answers. Uh, but what's the faster way to do this? Right, multiplication. So that is where we're going to get to our formula for area. Area of a rectangle is equal to length times, I'm going to use this symbol as times because we're going to be writing with letters, width. Okay, so we had 6 times 5, which is 30. There you go. So if we're looking at our journal page, which I'd like you to work on before we uh, meet, um, and there are a few problems that involve area, and they want you to draw first on these little grids, and if you use your shape tool, it will help a lot. It says draw a rectangle with a length of 5 and a width of 8. Now, what are these size squares? It doesn't actually say. Sometimes there is that is the case where there isn't actually a unit they're dealing with. So it's just kind of a generic unit of measurement. It isn't centimeters. It isn't inches. It's just kind of an imaginary unit that isn't really precise. Um, so 8 and 5. So if I'm going to draw my rectangle, I can go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I can go over 8. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it's not perfect. It's not exactly where I wanted it to be. So I might just undo it and redo it again. If you use Control Z, you can take away the, little, the thing you did last. So that's sometimes a really helpful option. There's also the little thing up here, I'm hiding it right now, that does sometimes help you undo something. But I think the control Z trick is actually gonna be better with Kami. So work on finding the area of each one of these rectangles. Two that you need to draw, you can use the rectangle tool, or if you wanna do it in your journal, you can draw it. Uh, use a straight edge, please. And then we're going to be able to calculate the area for each one of these examples. And there is an equation that goes along with it. Okay. And if you go back and look at what I did here, that'll help you. Right. So the equation for this rectangle was 5 times 6, or actually 6 times 5, if we want to really get nitpicky about which one's the length and which one's the width. But that is fine. So let's work on that. Let's see how we do. And be ready to talk about how you found your answers. And be ready to extend your thinking a little bit more as we get into our classwork. All right. Um, see you soon.